Well, this is one of Parker's most popular events. This is the Old Town Wine Walks, which are held in Old Town Parker, right down Main Street. There are about a dozen or two dozen participants. So all you gotta do is come by, it's 10 bucks, and you get a wine glass, you get 12 tasting tickets, and you get to visit all the vendors down Main Street and down Pikes Peak. Great event. Now, is this a yearly event? Absolutely, this event goes on from May through October each year on the last Friday of the month. So you gotta look at that calendar at our website at parkerchamber.com to find out exactly when the next one is gonna happen. Okay, when you come to the wine walk, all you do is come up here wherever you see this tent in the Parker Chamber of Commerce and you buy tickets. How much are the tickets, by the way? Ten dollars a piece. Ten dollars a piece. That's right. All right, I there we go. Got, I got to get. I need get two for two. us. How many? Oh, okay. two, well, one. one, two, three. Just get three. All right, we got the we got the three, right? One, two, three. All right. And you know what's really neat about this, folks, is that, is that it's a benefit. This time, it's uh, this month, it's a benefit for the Douglas County Veterans and uh, Memorial, right? The, the, the Memorial. And uh, you go around and you go to down there. There's a couple of places that have the wine. Down this way, Kelly, and we just start walking and find the wine and taste the wine. Well, let's let's go. Now, of course, the first stop here, Kelly, is the, the Falcon mm -hmm. uh, Brewing Company yeah. right on the corner here. Yeah. All you do, folks, is take your ticket in with your wine glass. Yeah. Well, and they give you like a little sheet at the front so you can kind of know where you need to go so you're not just kind of walking around. So that's cool, too. Well, let's go in and get our first sample. Okay. Oh. What a place. Now, this is also a re fine restaurant, folks, mm -hmm. but give it there, and we got, uh, looks like Chardonnay mm -hmm. that's for the I first said. one. That's what I said. Now each one of the places we go to will have a, they'll be fe featuring a different wine. Mm -hmm. This is a Moldavi wine here, mm -hmm. and a Chardonnay, not bad, not a bad wine. That's pretty good actually, I'm not a huge good. wine freak, but I really like this one, it's good. pretty good. Let's finish this one and go to another one. All right. <laughs> what a way to walk off calories, walk to each place. <laughs> right, true. <laughs> uh, Falcon Brewing Company is a family owned business. Um, we've been here in Parker for roughly uh, three years. Uh, we brew all of our own beers here on premise. Um, all, actually, all four beers that we do have on tap. Um, we have a light blonde, we have a amber ale, we have a brown, we have a rotating porter, and we also have a stout. Uh, pretty much it's just pub fare, you know, hamburgers, chicken sandwiches, just your basic, you know, good food, home cooking. Um, everything here is handmade, all of our sauces. Um, all of our hamburgers are still patted by hand. Folks, we're right here with some people. One of them's been here before. Now, you brought some friends, right? Yes, I did. Who's your friends? This is Holly and Deborah. All right. What do you like about the wine walk? Oh, you got to I see a kid. The um, wine. Well, of course, the wine. The, wine. Uh, the people, the different stores, um, the variety of wines that they show you. Just, I'm not a wine connoisseur, but they teach you about all the different kinds of wine. So. You're going to show these girls how to shop then. Oh, yes, definitely. <laughs> yes. 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 Where, where are y'all from? We're from Parker. Parker, but you had, where are you from? Parker, but and I you just moved been back. Here. So, yeah, I was gone for four years in California, just moved back, and this will be my first time. You know what I like about this is it starts from one end of town all over and you get to walk folks and especially for you ladies that like to shop. Yes. Wow. This is great. Ladies, go have fun. Oh, we're definitely going to do that. And enjoy the wine. Thank you so much. It's a great time. Well, we were just over at the Parker station and we're going to head over here to the the Parker the Main Street Marketplace. It seems like a pretty neat little store. I'll tell you what, just walking up and down the street, visiting businesses. Yep. Hold my spot in line right there. I'll tell you what, folks, when you come to the marketplace, look at all the stuff here. One of the fun things about coming to this uh, wine walk is getting to see some of these businesses that you might not have seen uh, otherwise, and they got all kinds of neat stuff, knickknacks and all, right here at the marketplace. So, hey, you gotta check these things out. Okay, all you do is put your ticket right in here. Red I would one. like the white. Okay. Now, what kind of wine is this? Middle, middle sister. I like Zinfandel. That's not bad. It's a Pinot Noir from California. Okay. We hey, we actually walked right out of the the, mm -hmm. the what is it? The, well, the Main Street Marketplace, which has some really cool stuff. I'm telling you, they do. So, and now we're gonna go to the Parker Panache Fine Women's Apparel. Your favorite place. Yeah.
Take it. All right, what we got? What kind of wine? Oh, okay. Good. I tell you, they got some really nice clothes. I don't know much about women's clothes, but I can tell you this, folks. It's some good looking stuff. Take a look at this right here. Look at this one. Look at that. Is that not some classy? It's right here in Parker, Colorado. I've never seen one like that. Look at this. Hey, look at this. Looks like something my other daughter would wear. Okay, folks, we've got some more wine tasters right here. Wonderful. Tell me, have you been here before? Tell me about the situation here. Hey, I was invited by a friend and heard about it and, and decided to come down and, and glad I did. I noticed you're with one, two, three. What is this with four ladies? You know, when you're handsome and sexy like I am, you know. Lie you... to me, lie to me. <laughs> <laughs> Main thing is, are y'all having a good time? Excellent uh, time. Absolutely great time. You know, great time. You know, the only thing I don't like about, I like the wine, mm -hmm. but bringing all these women in these places to shop. <laughs> hey, that's well, not a bad thing. That's why I left the wallet in the car. <laughs> <laughs> well, y'all have fun. What, have you, you like the white wine or the red wine? White wine. What do you red like? for me. Get the red over there. That's get, what I'll do. Get over and get All it. All right, thanks. It's nice to meet you. <laughs> Thank you guys so All right. much. Okay, Rebecca J. Salon is an organic hair salon. We do hair, we do makeup. Um, we do a lot of on-location weddings. And uh, we can either come to the bride or they can come in here and get hair and makeup. We're a full service salon. We do haircuts, we do color. Our color is ammonia free. And uh, so that means there's no burning, there's no smell. A lot of the hair color in the past had ammonia. And so we are 100% ammonia free. And a lot of people love that. We have a special for back to school. $100 partial highlight and haircut as well. I carry a lot of organic hair products. That means they're paraben free and sulfate free. Um, that's Kevin Murphy mostly. Um, we do hair extensions, the hothead hair extensions, which can give you length or volume or both. We have the bright colors. We have feathers. And feathers are really big right now. We do a lot of those. I really encourage people to come down to my salon and meet my staff. We'll offer you 20% off, and walk-ins are always welcome. Well, this is a hopping place. I know, there's a little park right over here, and they're having like a band play music, and there's a bunch of kids go, and people over there dancing. Where are we at now? We're, we're at the, the War Horse. Horse. All right, let's go and check the War Horse out. All right. We feature all kinds of food because we've been here for 30 years. Anywhere from hamburgers, sandwiches, salads, to steaks and seafoods. Right now I'm featuring a menu that we're bringing back the 1981 menu at uh, $4.50 to $5.99. Can you imagine that in, in this year that we're actually serving something $4.99 up to $5.99. Twelve of our old items came out. We smoke our meats out back. People just absolutely love that. And so that pulled pork sandwich or barbecue brisket or roasted chicken, they just absolutely love that we have. But we're so proud of our uh, Culinary Institute chefs that we have here. And so we get the ranching families coming in here uh, every week and all the horse people because of our name, the War Horse Inn. People often ask me, they say, well, how'd you pick the War Horse Inn? as the name of it. And I say, well, the big reason that we picked it was because it was apolitical. Everybody loves their own breed of horse. And they didn't really care too much about the Indian horses and they admire history. So the uh, war horse was the pony of the Indians. Uh, and he was the prize pony and we brought him in as the name and he's over our door. If you ever come to our restaurant, you'll be able to look over the door on the inside and see the, the war horse. Eagle Vale Estate is a winery that I started in Western Australia, about 200 miles south of Perth. We're right on the Indian Ocean and it's a perfect area for making a cool climate style of wine. So we make a Simeon Sauvignon Blanc, like this wine here, we make Shiraz, we make Cabernet Sauvignon, we do Chardonnays. We do nine different variants of those, those grapes. So we do nine different vines, wines based upon those grapes. So we do 
those in, in uh, lightly oaked form, some of them are more uh, traditionalist style. We age them in oak barrels for up to two years. In the case of one Chardonnay, we, we, we ferment it in the barrels and we finish aging those barrels. So it gives us a really big style, food style of wine. It goes with like lobster and crab legs, really rich foods. Whereas, you know, the Simeon Savion Blanc is an aperitif style of wine, so you can have it as an afternoon cocktail, uh, an aperitif before dinner, or even in with light foods like salads and grilled chicken and things like that. So, Margaret River is all about making wines that have got great finesse, lots of flavor, but not super powerful flavors where one flavor will dominate. So we call that balanced, complex style of wine. So the acidity is in balance with the fruit character and uh, with the alcohol levels. And that's a critical thing of making really nice wines. Talk about some good shopping. They have really good shopping right here in Parker on this main street right here. I'll tell you what, you gotta do the wine walk the last Friday of every month until October is going on. From April to October, every year. Yep. Are it's we finished? Cool. We're finished. We're finished. I'm tired. Let's go. Home. I know. <laughs>